Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can do the year to date calculation which is something you would require many times for your reports or dashboard and before I show you the entire methodology of uh, configuring that uh, just a quick information that within the description you will find three links the first link is for the Power BI tutorial videos spreadsheet where you can quickly search any any of my power bi video and along the link is given so you can jump on that and view it the second link is of the google data studio report where all of my videos are present of uh, click view click sense power bi tableau python everything is present over there so you can view that and the third link is for the data set which i use in my videos so you can go there and, uh, and get all of my data sets which i've used for your practice all right so let's move on so what i did in one of the earlier videos is i created the calendar table using the calendar function and there i specified the minimum order date and maximum order date so that all the dates can be populated to create a calendar right so with the help of this calendar we can do all the month to date quarter to date or year to date calculation all right so what do we need is basically a table over here in that we need a date and these are the date along with the year quarter month and day if you want to remove anything you can remove it from here right so and then what we need is basically the sales showing you the sales for each day now we want to do the year to date calculation so for entire 2009 we want to calculate right going all the way down till december and want to see how much we have done at till the end of the year right so for that what i will going to do is create a new column or sorry create a new measure and there in that measure this will be yt D underscore sales and here we will need to enter the total ytd expression expression is your uh, sum of sales as simple as that so sum of sales field from orders table and then date is your date that's it you have filter and uh, year and date that's that's optional for now so I'll just close this and enter this. All right, so we have the YTD sales here. Let's just add that in this table. So now you see for 2009, since we are at the end of the table, December 1, as I was showing you earlier, you have uh, 4.2 million of sales, if I am not wrong. Yeah, 4.2 million of sales, but for each day or for each month or for each quarter you can basically see because this is year to date so it's a cumulative sum right sum right from the start so from 1052 this plus this is 12154 then this plus this is 44 so it's what it is doing is cumulative sum so for january you can see 5.1 516000 is something what you have sold similarly for fab and for march which will be your q1 you can see that 1.2 mil is something what's what's been uh, uh, order has been received so far and at the end of the year in december you have the uh, total value for entire year sale and then the counter starts again as you can see from 1st january the counter starts again and gives you the sale of entire year for 2010 so if i go down this is this the sale for 2010 and similarly for rest of the years so that's mainly i wanted to show you the quick way of doing this the only catch is here the calendar table that we created over here which is in the back end connected to the orders table on the order date right so make sure you have this join and you have this table to create this calculation and that way it will be very easy for you to do this year to date calculation so that's about it what i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic